KK9's Jeff Nguyen is in downtown LA where Trump supporters and protesters scuffled on this May Day. Jeff? Hey guys, things were really tense for about an hour or so, but as you can see right behind me, the body language here with LAPD is, is that things have simmered down significantly. These officers were able to do an amazing job to keep the two sides separated. Let's go ahead and roll some video right now because there was a scuffle earlier between a Trump supporter and an anti-Trump person. They got into a fist fight. One guy was sucker punched, and because of that, Bicycle officers, motorcycle officers scrambled in to pull them apart. The uh, person who initiated the fight ran away, and uh, the person who got sucker punched spoke to us. Take a listen. I was coming around the corner. I was wearing my Donald Trump mask, and some bozo was sitting there waiting for us to come around the corner and immediately jumped on me and punched me through the mask. Didn't really hurt that much, but because of that, I was able to pull my own horn out and smack him over the head with it. A little payback for the, uh, for the U-lock in Berkeley. So the reason these officers are in a much more relaxed stance now is because they were able to escort all of the Trump supporters back to their cars. Uh, the Trump supporters told us that around 3 o'clock or so, the LAPD asked them to uh, leave their assembly because they were concerned for their safety. They were frankly just outnumbered. And so a lot of the Trump supporters told us because they are LAPD supporters, they decided to uh, heed the warning and go back to their cars. Uh, at this point, we were not able to see any arrests during that scuffle but the officers were able to do an amazing job keeping both sides separated. And uh, the guy that got hit, he said that uh, he wasn't badly hurt at all. So all's well that ends well is uh, the perspective from both sides out here. For now, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, for the most part, things went well, Jeff. Thanks.